Hey guys, I'm here hanging out with Lizzie. Um, I know a lot of the times we are talking about business and we're always on the go, but it's time to answer a lot of your emails. And we get a lot of funny questions from each and every one of you, so I guess it's time to start to answer those, those hard-hitting questions. Okay. What do you got? So, um, first one it says, are you guys good cooks? Yes, I would have to say I am a good cook. I have my basics and I love to do Sunday dinner and I like to get a little creative. I love to make salmon, chicken. My crock pot is my best friend. <laughs> How about you? I do not cook. She makes the best cafecito in the I land though. I make really badass coffee. Which is the um, reason I I don't survive. want to burn down my building. <laughs> so I don't engage in cooking at all. I mean, some, when you're not good at something in life, you just have to recognize it and let it be. Uber Eats definitely takes up a lot of my bank account. I'm about to say Uber Eats is expensive. So expensive. If I knew how to cook, I would save money. So much money. So the best cafecito in town? Call at your girl. Yeah, 100%. Okay, the next one is Celebrity Crush. So you want to know who I actually loved growing up? Josh Hartnett. Oh, he's the guy yeah. from Pearl Harbor. Yeah, he was hot. He was hot. Growing he up. was my, he was my crush. He was like the low key hot guy. Yeah. He wasn't like the Ben Affleck. But. No, 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 no. Like I love Josh Hartnett. Yeah, he's hot. I still love him. <laughs> my, my celebrity crush. You know, it has to be Drake. <laughs> <laughs> but people think that people are like, oh, Drake's ugly. If he was, if he was famous, would you, if he wasn't famous, would you like him? I'm like, I think you would. I fell in love with him, like because of his words. I'm a soulful kind of girl. Like, if you could talk my ear off, I'm into you. That's just like I fall for words. And you know what? My dad did tell me one time, women fall in love through their ears. Mm -hmm. And every time, every time a guy's like a good talker, I'm like, shit, he got me. Yeah, women fall in love through their ears, and guys fall in love through their eyes. I thought it was through their stomachs, and I was like, I'm fucked <laughs> because I can't. I can order some good food though. Any more questions? Okay, yeah. They asked us, would you rather love with heartbreak or no love at all? Ugh. I would say love with heartbreak. Love is beautiful. Like even the heartbreak is kind of beautiful. You learn from something. Okay, of course, love with heartbreak, but I roll my eyes because getting your heart broken just fucking sucks. Of course, it, it sucks. Like, I'm not saying, like, woohoo, I broke up, you know, but um, I had this one friend when I was, like, younger, Chelsea. I always looked up to her because, no, well, now she's engaged to, to Speedy, which is so awesome. Shout Congrats, out to, guys. shout out to Chelsea. Um, but I always looked up to her because I was, like, going through a bad breakup with, like, this douchebag that I dated. And she was, every time her and, and Sweetie would get into a fight, we were like 19, 20, 21 at that age. Um, she was just so like, okay with it, you know? And I always looked up to her because of that. Cause she was always so good mm -hmm. at like, just being happy within herself, even regardless of what her relationship was going through, so. But also, and we talk about it a lot, we can't appreciate the sweet without the sour. So. Contrast. Contrast, right? So if you have a heartbreak, and then the next time, the next merry-go-round where you meet somebody that you love and it's great, you're gonna know the difference. So yeah, a little, little feather in your cap. They asked also, do you have a catchphrase? <sighs> Yo, my cat, this one has crazy catchphrases and I, it's kind of like I'm the Dr. Seuss of catchphrases. She's like the Drake of catchphrases. <laughs> and that's, and that really is our personality, like the Dr. Okay, Seuss and so Drake. What do you think, what do you, okay, so what do you think would be my catchphrase? Like, you, the one, like one of my top, okay, top two of my catchphrases and I'll say your top two. Okay, I would have to say, you gotta thug it out. <laughs> And now you guys are gonna hear me say you gotta thug it out because I mean I hang out with Lizzie all the time you so. You have to thug it out. That's definitely one of my. Categories. Yeah, thug it out. And the other one, oh girl, so many. I would say yours is definitely put a feather in your cap. And I started using that. <laughs> of course, I love saying put a feather in your cap. I say that for everything. Um, you know what? You have a couple other ones, but the one thing that one of your other catchphrases that really resonates with me is like, it's all about the bag. Secure the bag at all times. Mm -hmm. 
Forget about the emotions. Sometimes, I, sometimes I'm like, emotions bag, emotions bag, bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my feather. What's my second one? Your feather in the cap and. <laughs> This is kind of hard. You guys really got us here. I always say um, uh, pushing the boulder up the, up the mountain. <laughs> Wait, pushing the boulder up the mountain or how do we eat an elephant? Piece by piece. One bite at a time. There it depends go. on the context, but yeah, I'm the Dr. Seuss of catchphrases, catchphrases and, she's, and she's a Drake. Okay, um, kissing or cuddling? Both. Yeah, I like both. And but, cuddling. Yeah. Let's start with kissing and then and cuddling. And then I know what happens in between. Mm, that's, that's a different and chill. <laughs> that's a different conversation. Okay. I love to cuddle um, though. Tequila or vodka? Ugh, I'm really not a drinker. Gin. Oh. I like gin. You know what? I'm going 42 baby all the way. Tequila. But I hardly drink. Tequila. Tequila, tequila, tequila. <laughs> Gin. Um, next one, and I think it'll be our last one. Um, do you want to get married? <sighs> okay, so I'll go first. <laughs> I always have such a story for everything. <laughs> so I want to get married, but I like I think people think, like I don't want to get married by a contract and like sign it and put it in court and say we're married. What do you mean, like, no, like walking down the aisle? No, like I just, I just, I don't want a contract to bind me to another human being. Like I think that marriage should be between you and that person and God and love. Mm -hmm. And I don't really think that I should have to go and sign a court document that says we are binded to one another, so. So you don't want like the whole party and the dress and all that stuff? Um, I just want like a dinner and I just want to say, I want a dinner. I just want like a dinner to say, guys, like we're gonna, we're married under your love. And I want everyone here, like we're married under God and life, you mm -hmm. know, like, but I don't want to go to court and have to like, I don't think that court makes you married. Mm -hmm. You know, like I know that society was a way of saying, okay, you're married because it's registered in the court. But I just don't feel like you have to do that. Like, I don't, that's just me. Like, I don't want to sign a paper and like bind myself to somebody. I'm of your, I'm of your mindset. I mean, for me, I've been there, I've done that. Like, just give me a nice rock. <laughs> right here. And we're good, we're married. <laughs> um, yeah, I honestly, I'm just in a place in my life where I've been there, I've done that. I've been very open in regarding my journey and divorce, but um, that, if that feels like it was 100 years ago. But right now, for me, I, a partnership, a partnership where we just lift each other up and bring the best version of ourselves out. I know I sound like Dr. Seuss, but it's the truth, you know? It's such a personal thing and I'm not I'm not interested in getting married anymore. I just want a good partner, a good just, person. I agree. There's no need to bind yourself to somebody by a piece of paper. I don't think that equals love anyways. They asked us a couple more questions, so you wanna do like two more? Uh, yeah, man, you guys, thank you for <laughs> thank all this. I didn't know you guys cared that much. Of, of course you're gonna care because you guys have been listening to our podcast, Breaking Bread. Thank you. So Thanks, Mom. One, <laughs> shout out to Mom. Um, have you ever been... This is so random. Have you ever dated two people at a time? Y'all, I think we've all been there in our like early 20s, right? Where... <laughs> You know what? If you're single, you're dating multiple people. I think I think that you can have like, not that you're like, well, maybe you're not having sex with all of them or whatever it is, but you're like- We live in Miami. Might be having sex with everybody, <laughs> use protection. Sponsored by Trojan. Um, I would say like, even if you're dating or like talking to like multiple people, you still have like your favorite. Of course you do, absolutely. Like, well, that's if dating. If this one were to tell me I want to be yours i would drop everybody else i think it's good well you know it's like have the best man or woman win i think in our era of online dating the fact that we have such a buffet of options i think you do fall into that rut i think it's a lot of multitasking but i honestly think if you really want to get to know someone and invest your time in one person you need to date that one person i just think to finally find quality you need to invest 
the time. So if you're juggling a whole bunch of people, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of multitasking. Shit. Yeah. Thanks for that question. It's quite exhausting. Um, and the last question I just read is, do you sing in the shower? Yes. Hell yeah, I sing in the shower. Drake? I, I listen to, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm like, I get into my Latin roots and I put on like Anuel and Carol G and I only know like three of their songs <laughs> and I'm like a reggaeton artist. And then, but yeah, most of the time it's my In My Feelings playlist. And I just, Alicia Keys, girl, I can hit all the notes. I sound great in the shower. I honestly, I love Disney songs in the shower. <laughs> Oh, you're so cute. I am a Dr. Oh, Seuss. I oh, no, I would have. That okay, definitely not Sebastian. <laughs> but yes, A Little Mermaid, Part of Your World, um, A Beauty and the Beast. I am a huge fan of The Lion King. I mean, don't you guys sing Meanwhile, Disney songs? I have Gunna. Um, <laughs> Gunna, Lil Baby, Drake, J. Cole. <laughs> That's what's blasted in my shower. It's so funny because I think that literally outlines our personality. Pretty much. Our yin and yang. Well, thanks for sending in the questions, guys. And what if they want to keep on asking us all the fun questions, Hit where the do they DMs go? At Throne Media, at Official Andrea Campo TV, at Lizzie Mo, or just send us an email to holla okay. at thronemedia.com. We'll see you guys real soon. Bye.